Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to get Open NAT for two Xbox consoles. Now in my case I have one Xbox 360 and one Xbox One. Now you should definitely check out this video somewhere over here which explains about Torito and how to get your Xbox One working properly. Um, but we're going to add the Xbox 360 and here's how to do it. Now this is only possible thanks to... <laughs> I cannot type this password in, can I? Huzzah! <laughs> uh, this is only possible since an update to the Xbox One which um, allows you to choose alternate ports um, which is great because for the Xbox 360, I'll put a link in the description. These are the ports which it says to open. It doesn't say to port forward them all. No, 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 no. It says just make sure they're open. Port 88 is already open. Port 53 is definitely already open. And port 80 will be open because that's how you access the internet. However, this is the one you need to port forward. Microsoft, please update your documentation and show us which ones need to be outgoing and which ones need to be incoming because this guide is totally useless. But don't worry, I am here to fix it for you. It says port 3074 UDP and TCP. So let's add a new firewall rule for the Xbox 360. Let's give it a name, Xbob. <laughs> we'll call it Xbox 360 Live. Protocol is already TCP and UDP, external zone one, fine. 3074 and internal zone LAN. Now, if you haven't already, you need a static IP address for your Xbox consoles. There are many, many, many videos on the internet on how to do this, so please do that now. Um, in my case, mine is dot 14, and the internal port of 3074 is absolutely fine. So let's add that rule and move it to the top like that and save and apply the rule. Now the sharp-eyed ones will see that there is a massive conflict here because the Xbox One is going to be hitting the external interface of our router on that port and the Xbox 360 is going to be hitting the external interface of our router on the same port so if they are both turned on you're both trying to access Xbox Live one of you might get a strict NAT and one of you may or may not get moderate or open. Who knows? So, this is the second part. What we need to do is we need to go to our original Xbox rule. We need to edit that. It can no longer use 3074, but luckily we can change it to one of the new rules. Um, there's new sort of higher range ports that the Xbox One can use. Thanks Microsoft. Um, one of them is 49962. I couldn't actually find an official document for you, but there is a way to find it on your Xbox console uh, near, near the network settings on the alternate port selection. There's a list of ports. I'm just going to pick the first one, which is 49962. So we're going to leave the source as 3544. Very important. That's your Torito tunnel. The external interface of our router. The Xbox 360 is going to use that port. We're going to use 49962 and we're going to put that as the internal port as well. We're going to save and apply those rules and have a quick check over them just to make sure. I haven't actually tested this, but in terms of networking, it seems sound to me. So this should be fun. Let's go and test it. So here we are in front of our Xbox 360 Elite console. There it is on the dashboard. We're going to scroll over to our settings page and system. We're going to go down to network settings. We are on a wired network. We're going to go to test Xbox Live connection. Before I press that, we're going to have a look and see that the Xbox 360 Live firewall rule is unticked. I say I haven't applied that rule just now, so it's not active. So we're just going to test the Xbox 360 connection. I'm expecting to this, this to throw an error of some sort. It's been a very, very long time 
since I have plugged this in, so let's just see what happens. Straight into an error state, it says connection warning. You can connect to Xbox Live, but your current network configuration may limit your ability to join a multiplayer game or hear or be heard by other people in your party. Let's try and fix it. So they've got some steps. C suggestion one, which is unplug and power off the... No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> uh, let's see the next suggestion. Uh, it's talking about UPnP, which we're not using, or it says or open port 3074. That is what we're going to do by enabling our firewall rule, like so, and hitting save and apply on that rule. There we are. If we bring it back to restart test. And let it do its thing. It should look more promising. So we are connected. That's fantastic. And we've got a service alert. <laughs> Superb for ruining my video. But it does say connected, connected, connected. Up, up and up. So we've got no problems there. Um, that looks good to me. So I've just booted up the Xbox One. I'm going to go over to settings and network and across to network settings. You can see the Xbox 360 is still on. We're on the Xbox One now and it says NAT type strict. Fantastic. <laughs> so we now have a strict NAT, uh, but that was expected behavior. So we're going to go to advanced settings. You can see that our Xbox One is using port 3074 that, that's now in use by the 360 so here it is alternate port selection we're going to change that to manual we're going to select port and we're going to pick the top one 49962 as that is what is on our firewall 49962 that's the top rule so let's continue on that and I think if we just back out of that, it will retest it. All services available, NAT type open. And there we are. And just to prove it, I've left the Xbox One on. We'll just change the channel back to where it was. There it is, still with the service alerts. Um, but I'm going to call that a winner. We've got two Xbox consoles with an open NAT. So there we are then, it works two Xbox consoles without using UPnP with an open NAT. Now, there are six of these higher range ports for the Xbox One and then there's the original 3074 port. So in theory, you could have six Xbox One consoles plus one Xbox 360 console all online at the same time with an open NAT. I don't want to be the one to test that, but in theory, that should be working fine for you. So leave a thumbs up if this one worked, and thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.